We gotta watch this video. Modern Warrior really needs to watch this video. So we're gonna watch this for Modern Warrior. Oh. Uh, okay. I had a lot of fun shot, but don't you think it's too soon? No, not at all. I uh -huh. really yeah. like you. Don't you like me? I do, I do, but what's the first? We're still getting to know each other. Oh. Also, like in the middle of the day in the car, kinky, you know? Oh, Michelle, we've been talking for weeks. I even took you out for coffee. Yeah, so? <laughs> Like, if I actually ran this down, this is incredibly problematic, and they don't even realize why, right? So it's like, oh, we've been talking for a lot. It's the entitlement to sex, but then it also is the idea of like, oh, I took you out to, I bought you a thing, so now you owe me a, a favor in return. Like, oh, I bought you coffee, or oh, I took you out to dinner, now you have to fuck me. It's a very problematic perspective that I think that some, um, a song, especially like younger men or men think that they are entitled to, just because you take a girl out on a date doesn't mean that they're entitled to sleep, or you're entitled to sleeping with them, right? And it actually is a big deal. <laughs> Uh, so I was surprised that we got hit with that with that pretty powerful message right off the bat. Well, I paid. Don't you think you owe me something? Yeah. Seriously, yeah. Sean, I, I don't want to move so fast. Come on, baby, I just want to taste those sugar lips. Those sweet, juicy sugar lips. Shunt. Can I get a taste? Come on. No, Sean. This guy's name is Shunt? How is he so bold? Yes, come on, I gotta get No. I'm just not ready. Maybe on our next date. Oh. I guess. Okay. What's wrong? Are you everything good? No, it's just, um, I don't know if there'll be a second date. What do you mean? I thought you were talking for weeks. That was the first date. What the fuck happened here? Seriously? I had fun. Oh, I'm sure you had fun, but I didn't, I'm not having much fun anymore. I'm like, seriously, it's just one kiss. It's not that big a deal. So there's two things. One, you don't have to date another. Like if somebody won't put it on the first date, you don't have to go on another date with them. Like I, you can you can decide not to date somebody for any reason you want. However, it's like the... The victim, con it's not the victim, excuse me, it's the guilt trip that is incredibly problematic, you know? Okay. Yeah, just one? Yeah. And then you'll drop me off after? Yeah. Oh, shit, they're not even, wow, there's a lot of issues here. Wait, so drop me off after implies that, they where are they? Look like they're in someone's driveway. But they're not even, like, she, she, this is really fucked up. Because, dude, this is insane. He picked her up on the date. This is their first date, apparently, because I thought it was more. They've been talking for weeks. I guess they did the Twitter talking thing. Or not Twitter, like Tinder. I used to do that a lot. You talk for a few weeks. This is so uh, problematic, though, because he picked her up on the first date, and then he took her out to dinner. And like he has the control over all the spaces. And this is one of those things I talk about where like just because you buy a woman something doesn't mean that you're entitled to have sex with them. But some men feel that way, and then women will, t will may submit just because they're like, well, he thinks that this is the way it is, and I'm going to get hurt, so I have to give it to him kind of a thing. Um, but he has full control over the situation. Holy shit. <laughs> this is so okay. fucked up. One on the cheek. Seriously, we're not five years old. Jeez, is that what you did at five? <laughs> Come on, Michelle. Yes? No shot. Just one on the cheek, okay? All right, all right. Oh, shit. No, 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 please. It's too soon. All right, well, now. That wasn't so hard. Jesus Christ, this is horrifying. This is actually fucked up. You almost here? Sorry, I got stuck in traffic. Was the date that bad? The date was fine. It's what happened after the date. Yeah, Tell he, me what happened, and I'll be. Yeah, I mean, I get uh, he, 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 sexually, he sexually assaulted her. Basically, you know, it was it wouldn't be nearly as dramatic as like a full on like ring, but it's still probably pretty upsetting. Very soon. Well, Sean, he kind of forced himself on me at the end for a kiss. Well, oh my goodness! Wait. Where does this black guy come into play in the story? Is he why he seems to be part of the story now. Wait, is it that bad? Yes, Jasmine, it's horrible. I didn't want to kiss him. No. Why not? He's good looking. Wow, this... Wait, why? How is this happening right now? This video is, like, in bizarrely in touch. The, 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 this video is, like, really, really in touch. Like, you have her... This is totally normal. Like, this is what happens. Like, something will happen to you, and then you'll be like, yeah, he forced himself on me and kissed me. And then, like, your friend will be like, that ah, doesn't sound too bad. It's like, yeah, that happens a lot. It's really fucked up. This video is, like, surprisingly in t in touch. Yeah, well, still, you know, I just I just wasn't ready. It was okay. I just wanted to get to know him better. I can't go around just kissing every hot guy that wants to kiss. Wait, he, well, he wasn't really hot. He looked like shit, but okay. Yeah, I see what you're saying, Michelle. And he kept on calling me sugar lips and trying to kiss me. Mm. So what happened? Did you let him kiss you? I told him he could kiss my cheek, so he'd stop asking. 
Wow. I hate aggressive and desperate guys. Wow. I know what you mean then. Wow. Wow. And then he started kissing my lips wow. instead of my cheek and feeling me up. Wow. That's it. I felt so violated. It would be, you know what the worst part about this is that she's not talking to anybody because you can see that her phone is dark. There's nothing on her phone, which means that she's also a schizophrenic. And that's the worst part of the story. Is that she has schizophrenia? I think that would probably be the class. Uh, probably be the classification, right? Talking to people that don't exist. Say stuff. Man. Hope that she gets the help she needs. Oh my god, that's terrible! I had no idea he was like that. He seemed like such a sweet guy at the bank. Everyone loves working with him there. Yeah, he did seem sweet, and the date was cool. Just wish he hadn't done that. Yeah, the girl actor is actually decent. Isn't that crazy? This the acting is surprisingly decent in this one. I'm like five minutes away. I'll see you soon and you can tell me the rest of it. Okay. That's all of it. Cool. Well, you can tell me anything else. Well, I'll at least the friend soon. is supportive. Okay. Bye. <laughs> um, that was actually a somewhat normal interaction. The goofy ass fucking face when you lock eyes with somebody. Hi. Like, what do you, I, you know what I mean? Like, you lock eyes with a stranger, you don't know what to do with yourself. This is pretty. This is the best acting I've seen. I've seen. I'm sorry, young miss. I couldn't help but overhear your conversation. Oh, sorry, I spoke so loudly. No, no, no. You have nothing to apologize about. I have a daughter myself. She's just starting high school. Very but nice. I know about guys who did stuff. How old is this guy? He's young as fuck. You're just starting high school. What is that? Like 14? This guy looks like he's in his 20s. That's insane. Like you just described. Yeah. Can you believe that? It's terrible. I hate for my own daughter to go through that. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I thought he was farting. <laughs> I'm sorry, maybe I know it's immature. But hey, that's just who I am, bro. Um, my name is Frank. Hi, Frank. I'm Michelle. Very nice. Mind if I have a seat? No, well, I mean, like, I, I, honestly, my friend's coming and, like, three's, three's company, you know what I'm saying? Please go away. Thank God you guys this didn't edit those out. Before? Yeah, this actually isn't the first time. That's terrible. I've meeting guys so aggressive, just trying to score a kiss or more from me. Yeah. I understand. I know I just met you, and seeing how I would offer the same help to my own daughter, I'd like to help you out. Help okay. me out? How? I have this idea. That would teach this guy. What was his name? Sean? Shant with the T. <laughs> well, this Shant with the T needs to learn a lesson. I mean, it sounds like he's offering to beat the shit out of this guy, which I'm all for it. <laughs> but Jesus got violent quickly. What do you suggest? I mean, I don't think I plan on ever seeing him again. I think you should see him again. Why? Maybe invite him here for coffee. Oh, shit. A few hours later. Damn, this happened like this day and you're already on another date? Whoa, those are some sex dude, a little sexual energy here. Am I wrong or am I right? Look at this. He gave him the horny eyes. Ooh, this is gonna be a hot porno. Hmm. He's really Oh wait, this is the story! Oh shit, this is actually pretty good. He's gonna pretend to be a gay dude and he's gonna be overly sexually aggressive with Shant. Also, bro, listen, no offense. They called this guy hot. Now listen, I'm going to tell you why he's not hot, okay? He's wearing an undershirt. Now I want to explain something. People who wear normal shirts with undershirts are fat, okay? I'm not kidding. Fat people do that because they think it makes them look skinnier. It doesn't, but it it, it, it's, it is what people do. It's what we do. I'm telling you. Ooh, this is kind of horny. Hey, Michelle. See me? I'm so sorry. There's terrible traffic. I'm probably gonna be like 15 minutes late. Yeah. Oh, don't worry, my sugar lips. See you soon. My sugar lips. Thanks. Uh, feel free to order something without me in the meantime. Oh, way ahead of you. I already placed my order. Great. What? See you soon. Really? But that's just a dick move. Why would you already place your order? See, that doesn't make any sense. Because if when I go on dates, I don't know if you guys knew this, I'm, I finish eating first because I'm very hungry and I eat fast. So for me to order something before somebody even gets there 
is not a good idea. Then you're just sitting there bored. And I hate sitting at restaurants. Like when I go to buffets, I'm out in the buffet in like probably 25 minutes. I I go and I eat my food and I get out. I don't like to be there all day. I don't like to get my money, my money's worth. Okay. Um, but unless this guy was like, he got there and he ordered something. He's like, I hope she's a little late so I could scarf it down and then I could buy another thing. That's a alpha. That's an alpha Chad move. I'm surprised he wasn't like, oh, you bitch. You know, that would have been a good story building. Okay. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Okay, the story just lost me. Okay? I was under the presumption that he knew who this guy was the whole time. But then he does this. Which suggests to me that this is the first time he looked at the picture to make sure it was him. Which suggests to me that he didn't know who it was. So the whole, like, I'm going to be sexual with this guy narrative, it loses its its tingle. Now, in this world, this black dude was just, like, horny for this fucking guy. He just wanted to fuck that guy. He was, like, looking at him with, like, I want to fuck you. He's just gay. And that's fine, but it, it seems bizarre. Because then it suggests that he's also bad with boundaries. This is so weird. You think he was double checking? We're gonna assume that he was double checking because it will make the narrative go better. But okay. He has to go all and say, "Hey, Daddy." That's the first thing he should say. Do it, please. Hi. Can I help you? Sorry, I don't usually do this. Um, my name is Frank. Oh, uh, hi, Frank. Kiss him. I'm usually not this forward. Kiss him on the lips. You have. I hope they're gay. I hope both of them love it. Really nice eyes. Oh, uh, thanks. <laughs> no, seriously, has anyone ever told you that before? <laughs> yeah, my my mom. <laughs> Can I help you, sir? Is, is, is that all you wanted to tell me? So I don't mean to freak you out. Look. He's holding the menu over his penis. He's getting hard. You're really handsome. I was checking you out from over there, and you're turning me on. Do you mind if I maybe can get your number? Uh, I'm sorry, but I'm into girls, not guys. <laughs> oh, come on. Have you tried it before? True. Tried what? You know. Kissing a guy. Oh, I like it. Oh, sorry, but no. Oh, come on. No, no come on. Just stop it. Yeah, huh, what's the problem? Look at those juicy lips. Who we'll call you sugar lips? Uh, Give me a kiss. Oh God, please stop, or I'm not interested. Come on. No. I'm gonna call. <laughs> what is this? He's gonna chase him around the table like a fucking cartoon? Fuck off. Come on, where are you going? I'm far away from you. I'm being so childish. We're not 10 years old. Let's see what you got. Uh, come on, sugar uh, lips. Come on, this is my lucky. Whoa, he was going for the wiggler. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, oh, hey. oh shit, this other guy's gonna get canceled now. Hey, 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 hey. Oh my god, you're, too, you're so difficult. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, 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 Wait, this got so juicy. The other guy's now recording it, so that would make it seem worse, right? Like, that's the, the land of the black guy looks like he's the aggressor when he's trying to teach him a lesson. This could get really deep. Oh, not a compliment. Yeah, not yeah, a compliment. Yeah, yeah. Come on, show me. No, no, not yeah. from there. This, this I'm going to show you. Why are you recording this guy? Also, by the way, on, check this out. Oh. This is meant to simulate a recording, right? Where you hold your phone like this. Okay. Oh, no, not yeah. from there. This, this I'm going to show you. Then she's holding her phone like this. So it doesn't even make sense. I'm going to punch you. I'm going to knock you out. Come on. Help, no, help. Michelle, hey, help me. This guy's... Try to kiss me. Come on. Hey, Frank. Just hit him already. I would have. I would have already punched him. Hey, Michelle. What? You know each other? Yeah. This is my friend Frank. Oh. Okay. Oh, did you set this up. Was this like a prank? Yeah. No, pretty much. It's not a prank. Yeah, Sean. I like a kiss. Oh. Is this like something to teach me a lesson? All right, yeah, he's getting it. Why don't you get Frank a kiss? Uh, Michelle, this ain't the same thing. Why not? Because I'm not into Frank. So what made you think I was necessarily that into you? Or ready to kiss you? Yeah, Sean. Yeah, Sean. Like you two are both crazy, and this is completely ridiculous. Are you serious? Well, I'm glad to learn that he at least Master learned his Bates lesson. Masturbate 128 just subscribe. Thank you so much, Master Bait. Thank you. Hey, Sean. I'm here. Look. Relax, I'm just trying to talk to you. Man, whatever. 
Look, did Michelle tell you to stop? And did you? Exactly, Sean. When you tell someone to stop, they should stop. Oh, true. And you didn't like I it agree. when I got aggressive, did you? No. Wow. Yeah, so what made you think I'd like that? I don't know. It's, it's just different. I, I really like you. Sean, come on. Does that make a difference if I would have said that? Bro. Wow. This is a really interesting video. This is surprising because this is another thing and that people don't really want to talk about is that a lot of times when women are um, in these scenarios where they end up submitting to the guy, they come out of it feeling really violated, but they don't, a lot of times they don't think that the person who violated them is a bad person, you know? And the reason that I'm saying that is because the the framing of this is like, yeah, you did a really shitty thing, but like, you're not a shitty person. That's that's the way that they're presenting it. And it's refreshing to me because a lot of times when you look at any like media, you'll see a guy, the way that they establish that like usually a guy is a bad person is having them like rape a girl. And it's really frustrating because it's like that's it. Like, you know, there's no character building. It's like a bad guy, but this is a very realistic thing. It's like this guy, he's he what he did to her was like a fucking scummy thing. Um, but he's not necessarily a bad guy, and they're not framing him as like the bad guy. He's the bad guy, but they're not framing him as a bad guy, if that makes sense, you know? And Michelle shot to put you in this situation for you to know what it feels like. It should have been more than enough when she was telling you the same. True. I understand. I'm sorry, Michelle. Does this mean you don't want a second date? Sean, we'll never date you again. Well, that's but I do fair. hope the next person you date, you'll remember to not be so aggressive. True, I true. Won't. I've learned my lesson. All right, well, very good. This now. was a good video. Sean never harassed or aggressively pursued another woman ever again. But what was the relevance of that guy recording it, though? Why did that? They just had this random guy record the video for what? Because of that, the girls he dated liked him more and wanted to see him more and more. Nice. Oh, shoot, I forgot my jacket. I mean, why is he being so comfortable? This is just a weird ending, but okay. <laughs> Eventually, he found a girl he really liked because he got to know her personality wow. and fell in love with her. Fantastic. They got married and had two beautiful sons. Wow. Sean taught okay. his sons the value of respecting women Fantastic. as well. Fantastic. Michelle got over her bad date with Sean and stayed friends with Frank forever. Years later, Sean once again ran into Michelle with her new husband in Hawaii, where he gifted her a Starbucks gift card for $200,000. Why, Samir? Why did you need that? Why did you need that in here? I know why he did it. He he's doing it to drive up engagement. Because you go to the comments, and go like, "What the fuck? A two hundred thousand gift card to Starbucks?" It was a bit excessive, but Michelle appreciated it forever. Hey, I truly. Okay, great video. Surprisingly in touch. I am curious though. There was a point in here where there was just this random fucking dude. There was just some random guy observing the two of them and he like this it was a guy over here well he's not even there in the camera which is even more weird um they start getting like yeah, this guy what was the fucking point of this guy why did he need to exist thank you so much for watching guys and another special shout out to all my patreon twitch subs if you'd like to support this channel further than you already have by just watching the video alone Go down to the links below where you can sub on my Patreon, which will allow you to get your name on this beautiful black wall. <laughs> uh, or you can go to the Twitch page and you can actually use a free Amazon Prime sub, if you have Amazon Prime, to subscribe. Thank you very much, guys. Take care.